uh, and tell you a bit about it because it's not, it's not. everybody and welcome to my channel my name is Michelle and this is Lilac Cottage Crafts uh, in this video I'm going to be talking about the Lovies uh, book um, but first of all I just wanted to talk a little bit about some stuff that's going on with me personally I don't tend to talk much about me personally because I kind of don't think people are going to be interested really and I don't want to sound like a moaner as well um but I wanted to say this it is a little bit of a downer well, it's, a, it's a big downer really um and then I'll talk about the things the lovies that I've made and then we can end the video on a high um but basically um my dad has been uh, diagnosed with cancer um in the last couple of weeks. Um, he's actually been diagnosed with two different cancers. He's been diagnosed with prostate cancer and with bladder cancer. Now, we lost his dad to prostate cancer, but that was back in the 80s, when obviously success rates of surviving cancer were not very good. Um, but it still is a worry. Um, and also his brother kind of had um blood tests done a couple of years ago and had some high levels of something that i can't remember so he had his removed so there was a chance he could have got prostate cancer as well um so my dad's always kept an eye on it as much as he can but unfortunately he's been going to the doctors um and trying to get them to do tests for this and look at this and they've been more interested in trying to get him in a trial for his, um, his diabetes which he's kind of borderline diabetes sometimes they say he is diabetic and sometimes they don't um, so it's quite annoying I'm just hoping fingers crossed that they have got caught everything in time he's got his first operation next week for the bladder cancer um, well we're not quite sure what they're doing next week to be honest um, we don't know if they're doing just a biopsy to check that's what it is or if they're going to do, um, a, I believe that with that um, cancer they, they scrape the cells out um, or if he's going to have some like chemo, they flush the uh, bladder with chemo, so we don't know. So I have more news on that um, next week. Um, so yeah, so life's a bit hectic at the moment for me because He's got, he's got a lot of um, things. My husband's got a hernia that she has to have an operation on that. And then I've got, I've got issues with my stomach that we've never got to the, to the bottom of. Um, I've had my gallbladder out a couple of years ago, but still getting a lot of pain that I was getting before they had the gallbladder out. So <laughs> yeah, it's um, between us, um, there's a lot of, um, there's a, a lot of, um, Oper uh, not operate well yeah um, stuff basically <laughs> going on um so yeah that's that's the uh, the bad news out of the way and just so that like in the future you'll kind of know um if i'm uh, feeling a bit down or something i'll have a moan about it um but yeah that's 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 that bit so we'll get on to the lovies now so i know a lot of people have this book um the um mama made minis knotted lovies um i actually got a pattern that i'm going to show you what i've made off the etsy page for this before i bought the book um i got the pattern for the little um dinosaur there but the bigger one so these are the, in here are the minis and um, there's lots of different ones there's not just the characters on the front um, I think it says 16, yeah, it says 16 on there, um, there's all sorts, there's ducks and dragons and um, monkeys and pandas, all, oh actually I could probably show you that page actually because there's no, 
an item on it. So yeah, there we go. Lots of different lovies in there. And it's a really nice book. Um, it's got lots of pictures near the beginning to show you how to do certain things. But I would say these are very easy to make. Um, if you know basic amigurumi things. There's nothing too complicated in it. Apart from <laughs> maybe like something I'll tell you in a minute. So the first one I made, like I said, it's not in the book. I got this one off the um, Etsy website. So this is the dinosaur. I've decided to call him uh, Bronson. So yeah, try to get him in in all his glory. I have embroidered his eyes, as you can see. So because he's going to a little kid, he's going to uh, someone who's just turning four. So even though he is um, older than three, I didn't want to give him um, uh, safety eyes because with, with this blanket yarn, I don't trust the safety eyes. I still think the holes are a bit big and especially because you're doing half double crochet and not single crochet so the holes are a bit bigger as well so yeah um i've made him using this particular yarn is burnet and it's the pet yarn um and i've used the hello blanket yarn that you can get off like Amazon. I bought some of it at a craft fur thing that I went to last year. So they um, were made with that, it's called Hello. I'll have to see if I can find something to put, um, maybe put a picture up for you of what it looks like and then you'll know what I'm talking about. But yeah, he is so cute. I absolutely love him. And like I say, I've called him Bronson. When I was making them though as well, the, the one of the last thing before I put his spikes on and I was doing his arms I made his arms and I thought to myself his arms are a bit short <laughs> and then, uh, mm. so I kind of put them on his body and I looked at the picture and I thought well yeah his arms are supposed to be short but I felt they were too short so I put one extra row in just myself I felt happier of him having to do that it's just slightly so you know, he can kind of reach his mouth if he was trying to eat something, you know. So yeah, so he's going off to his new home. So I'm trying to rush to do this video before he goes. And like I say, he's, he's the bigger size. I don't know if there's medium size or if there's just like large or small, I don't know. And what I've also done, just give me a sec. I've got this off Etsy for his... His certificate. <laughs> yeah, it just looks like him, doesn't it? It's so cute. So yeah, he's got he's got his adoption certificate there that I got off Etsy. I just literally put in dinosaur, I think like dinosaur toy adoption certificate. And that was like I think the first one that came up. So yes, yeah, so that's gonna get filled in. And then he's gonna go off. I have also got um tags that I got off um Elise Rose Crochet off her, um, Etsy. I don't know if I bought them in the Etsy store or off her actual website, I may have bought them off the website, I can't remember, but yeah, so I've got tags and I've got some, um, not string, but that ribbon that I've, I've got ready to put round him, so he's just got a, he's going to have a tag on to say, you know, that he's handmade, so he's going to be going off to his home, either later on, on today or tomorrow. I love him. He's so gorgeous. I want him to stay here. And then the next one I've made. Ooh, you just got a sneak peek. <laughs> um, this one I've made for, um, it's the rabbit. And I've made this one for a little girl who is the cousin of who's getting the dinosaur. Because I just, I just couldn't not. Even though it's his birthday and it's not hers yet. I just wanted to do it now. Um... So yeah, I made, this one is out of the book and I made her using a ball of, um, in fact, I'll go and get it. Just give me a second. So I made her using this 
wool and I literally used one ball to, to make her I literally used one ball and I had just like the smallest little bit left so this was from Aldi in the UK last year they used to do them in packs of four and it's the baby like the baby yarn and I bought it because I went in and that was the only colour that they had left and I was a little bit disappointed I thought it's not really a colour that I think I'll use so I bought them because I think it was about a fiver so I thought it's not a lot of money so I bought them um, and um, yeah it's been I forgot I bought it until about a month or so ago when I found it when I was looking for something else and I thought oh yeah but I don't know what to do with it and then like I say I was looking through the um, Minnie's book and I thought oh, I could do that rabbit I didn't think I would make the rabbit with just one of these though so that's really good um, I believe they have got the um, event on well, I think it was last week actually so if I go into Aldi now they're probably not going to have any left which is disappointing and also they don't do the pack of four anymore which is disappointing as well but hey ho there you go <laughs> but I'm really impressed with this for making these minis I hope that I spot when they're doing the yarn I knew they would be doing the yarn event coming up soon I'm so annoyed with myself I don't really go in Aldi I tend to go in Lidl more than Aldi and to be honest I don't really go in the supermarket it's very often anyway because people just annoy me <laughs> I just get so annoyed. I said my husband, I give him the shopping list and he goes, because I just, I don't know what it is with people. I think it's gone worse after the pandemic. People are just so horrible and rude all the time and I just can't be coping with them. My anxiety rate gets so high through going shopping. Um, so yeah, and I um, also, just a minute, I also managed to get an adoption certificate. So I'm calling her Bonnie. And she's going to a little girl, so I got this. So I, yeah, look at that. It's so cute. I love it. Love it. Isn't that absolutely adorable? I think this might be the same person on Etsy. Again, I just put, I think, rabbit toy adoption certificate in and it came up. But if I do remember, I'll try and put the shop in. I'm really rubbish at remembering or I'm rubbish at trying to put things in. I'm not very techy, so um, <laughs> forgive me. So I'm really pleased with that. And again, I've got the tags. Um, I'm just trying to think where I've put the... I'll go and find the tags. So here are the tags that I'm going to use. So I'm going to use this for the dinosaur and I'm going to use this for the rabbit. And I'm going to put them around the neck with a nice piece of um ribbon <laughs> i couldn't remember the name my brain's gone today i can't remember anything it's friday i'm waiting for the weekend i can't wait it's been a funny week it's been a bad week but yeah they're they're from elise rose crochet used to be le petit saint crochet uh on youtube and on her blog thing and they are so cute there was adoption certificates with this set, but I didn't feel that they fitted in with the dinosaur and the rabbit. There was an Easter one that I thought I could do for the rabbit, but then when I saw that that, that rabbit actually looked like the lovey that I'd done, I was like, no, no. So that's them. Fantastic. I've actually just gone and got the grey one of the pet blanket one that I've got so that you can see what it actually is. Ooh. So yeah, that's the pet one, but I got it in that sort of greeny aquary colour. And it is, I've just shown you, but I'll say it's a five bulky weight. And it says to use a six hook, which I think I did. But to be honest, for the head, it is a little bit gappy. You can see the stuffing because it would have been double crochet. I'm wondering if it would have been better going down a hook size or even just half a hook size. But that's it very hard to get hold of this um in fact this one the gray i've been looking for for ages and i spotted it it was the last one left the other day so i had to order it quickly before it disappeared 
Now I've got a little bit of a confession to make that I've got a bit of an obsession with something. So if you think like, oh, she's got a bit of an obsession with the lovies, then you're gonna see, not that I've made many yet, but there will be a lot of them. But this book is my new, oops, absolute favorite thing in the whole world. The Impkins Crochet Book. I absolutely love this book more than you could ever know. <laughs> I, honest to God, I'm obsessed. So I'm gonna show you my first Impkin that I made. Uh, and tell you a bit about it because it's not, it's not, it's a secret, it's not done exactly the same way as the book. Okay, so <laughs> this is, this is Stefan, oh god no don't fall over my love, this is Stefan, let's move his hat up a little bit, oh that light's a bit bright for you Steph. So this is Stefan, isn't he just absolutely, I'll take his hat off a minute so you can, so that he doesn't fall off and I'll spin him round like that. So he's got his little bag, I'm dropping his hat and his, his bag opens up, he can put stuff in, I'm going to make him some little books to go in there and he's got his button there and he's got his jacket, just let me pick the hat back up and then like I say there's his hat. <laughs> Isn't he so cute? I love him. I am obsessed. That light is making him go, <laughs> but yeah, he is, I love him. I love him. He's gorgeous. I did worry, because I did his hat first, that it was too big. <laughs> I thought, oh, oh dear, his hat's going to be too big, but it's not. I did have an issue a bit the first time I had to go at doing that inside. There is another hat that I made for something else that I might show you in another video. And I did it wrong, but now I've figured out. <laughs> it's easy, but when you're doing the front post thing the first time, I think it can be a bit hard. But now I've figured it out, so it's, it's cool. And then I'm just gonna tell you about the rest of him. Um, so I'm not so good on doing flat pieces of work. So his, his, his um, little waistcoat, um, I started to follow the pattern and then I became confused by what she was trying to say. Now that I've thought about it afterwards, I think when I got to, I think it was just after I'd completed the arms, I think, um, he, um, I think you were supposed to kind of go around the outside, I think, to finish it off. But I couldn't, I just couldn't figure the, the instructions out at all. But he's got a jacket on and it looks fine and nobody knows apart from me and and you are watching. But don't tell anybody else, it's our secret. Um, and then also the body, I didn't do, the. I did the feet of the impkin in, in the book and the arms. But then when it came to the body and the head, I followed the instructions off a video, which I got from Cindy on the Roomy Mill said she'd got this pattern from somebody else. I can't remember who it is. So I followed her pattern. I'll put details either on screen or in the thing. And it was much simpler because I do not like, like most people, I do not like it when you end up, you do the magic ring and he ends up with a wee hole. Let's, let's, let's say it. It's got a wee hole at the front. It's supposed to be a belly button, but it's a wee hole and it doesn't look right. Some people make the impkins bodies how they want. They've got the wee hole, whatever. If I'm doing something that's going to have something over it, I'm probably not going to be bothered. But to be honest, it looks really complicated doing the body like that anyway. And I also do not like the... Um, slip one um slip one chain one method of ending the row or starting it's ending the row isn't it because i don't like the fact that it creates a line in your in your body or whatever you're making 
I did that with um, it's I think it's called my pretty brown my pretty brown doll book, and I haven't I don't think I've shown you her yet because she's not finished, and I made her ages ago. She's finished, but her clothes are not. And her hat when I was making her hat was the same. It was a, it's a beret that I was making for this particular character, and she said to do the same this slip one and chain one and it was causing this line and I just didn't like it and I thought why is it doing that it doesn't look right and I thought I'm just not going to do that and see what happens and it turned out fine so I just have the, the the opinion of if it says to do that in the instructions just carry on doing it how you normally do it and that's fine as long as it looks right doesn't matter so I am just in love with him and his eyes it's the first time in me using these eyes um, I had to sort of really try and pull his eyes in because I didn't like the way they were sticking out. Um, but I think it gives his, his face a bit more character anyway. Um, but yeah, I just, I'm absolutely in love with him. He is so gorgeous. And I love this hat. This, um, I mean, the what I've used on here is stuff I've just had in my stash for ages and I couldn't tell you where I've got stuff from. But this um, was, I think, a red heart, like a blanket yarn. And I think it, the colour palette thing is called Parrot, I think. Yeah. So, yeah. And, um, yeah. So, I have a few other Imkins that are in the making. I've got some hats done. But I, I'm, I'm, I'm struggling to find, because I think this is a bit of an Aran. Um, and I want to use like a 4mm or at least a 3.5mm because otherwise he's just too small to try and, and, and crochet. Um, for me anyway. So yeah. <laughs> so apart from having a crappy time, I've also had a really good time with my crochet. But that's what crochet is for, for me. Crochet is my, my escapism and my happy place. And so I'm really happy, in my happy place, that I've got these things. And I'm really glad that my lovies are going to a nice home. And I hope that they'll be loved for years by the kids that they are going to. And I wish you all the best of health and a really nice week. Um, and I'll hopefully see you again next week. So until then, take care. Bye!